Hi everybody, Steve here at the San Fernando Mission Cemetery in Mission Hills, California. It's not far from Hollywood. And today I'm going to visit the gravesite of actress Penny Singleton. I'm also going to visit the gravesites of a couple of other Judson's voiceover actors, as well as a couple of Blondie movie and TV actors. So let's go see who we can find. Thanks for joining me on another trip to visit the most memorable cemeteries, memorials, and gravesites. Actress Penny Singleton fans will remember her primarily for the two most famous roles she played, that of Blondie Bumstead in the Blondie movie series, and later as Jane Jetson on the Jetson TV series. She was born Mariana Dorothy McNulty, and she's laid to rest here with her sister, June Elizabeth McNulty Flynn. And even though her name is not engraved on the headstone, multiple sources have confirmed that this is her grave. Based on the very popular Blondie comic strip back in the day, she played Blondie Bumstead in 28 Blondie movies between 1938 and 1950, and also played the character on radio from 1939 to 1950. From 1962 to 1963, she was the voice of Jane Jetson on the Jetsons cartoon TV series, and then again later between 1985 and 1987 when the series was rebooted. Singleton died from respiratory failure at the age of 95 in Sherman Oaks, California on November 12, 2003. Her gravesite is located just inside the gates to the left in Section C and has a GPS to make it easier to find if you're planning to visit it in person. If you haven't watched a Blondie movie lately, I highly recommend it if you're in the mood to be transported back in time to a much more innocent time. I recently watched one of the first Blondie movies again the other day and had to laugh at just how different things were back then. Blondie and Dagwood's son, Baby Dumpling, couldn't have been more than four or five years old in the movie that I was watching, but whenever anyone comes to the front door, if Blondie is in the kitchen, she tells Baby Dumpling to open the door and invite them in. Baby Dumpling also likes to run away from home. Can you imagine that happening today? At that age? Baby Dumpling was played by child actor Larry Sims, who died in Thailand at the age of 74 on June 17, 2009. And according to his Fine and Grave Memorial page, he was laid to rest in a non-cemetery burial. A couple of years ago, I visited the final resting place of singer Karen Carpenter, at the Pierce Brothers Valley Oaks Cemetery in Westlake Village, California. After I visited her family mausoleum, I walked around the cemetery and explored for a couple of hours. According to his Wikipedia page and his Find a Grave Memorial page, this is where George O'Hanlon is laid to rest. Neither source says whether he was buried or cremated, or if he was cremated, if he has a niche, or was scattered, but it seems to me a while back I did read somewhere that his ashes were scattered in the Rose Garden here. At the time, I didn't know that he was interred here. I still have no idea if he has a, a plaque or a marker or any final resting place to visit. So if any of you know, please let us know in the comment section below. O'Hanlon was the voice of George Jetson on the show from 1962 to 63, and then again later from 1985 to 1987. He died from a stroke in Los Angeles on February 11, 1989, at the age of 76, while he was recording dialogue for Jetson's The Movie. The voice of Judy Jetson was performed by actress Janet Waldo, and she's buried in the Murmuring Trees section at Forest Lawn in the Hollywood Hills. So I was here a few months ago searching everywhere in this section. You can see the section here. It's a pretty large section. In fact, it's a very large section. <laughs> and I searched for hours in the hot sun. I could not find it anywhere. And it turns out I wasn't even close. But since I was coming back here today, I thought, well, let me give it another try. And I noticed that there was a link on her Find a Grave Memorial page to her husband's gravesite. So I clicked on that and there was a photo showing that they were buried right in front of the Red Church. So when I arrived here today, I parked in front of the church and it took me less than 30 seconds to walk to their gravesite. Sometimes one photo can make all the difference in whether it takes 30 seconds or three hours to find a gravesite. So I added a GPS to her Find a Grave Memorial page to make it that much easier if you plan to visit yourself in person. As you can see, her epitaph reads, American actress, a lifelong teenager, from Corliss Archer to Judy Jetson. Before she was Judy Jetson, Waldo had a very popular radio show for eight years from 1943 to 1956 called Meet Corliss Archer. This was during the golden age of radio, and she appeared in nearly 40 radio shows. 
she went on to appear in 50 movies and nearly 100 TV shows. She had quite the career. Waldo died on June 12, 2016 in Encino, California at the age of 96, but she was no doubt still a teenager at heart. Waldo's husband, Robert E. Lee, was a playwright best remembered for his works Inherit the Wind and Anti-Mame. He also co-founded the Armed Forces Radio Services during World War II, which brought entertainment and news to service members here and abroad. He died from cancer at the age of 75 in Los Angeles on July 8, 1994. Here in the same cemetery, in the columbarium of Radiant Dawn, within the Court of Remembrance, is the final resting place of actress Pamela Britton. In 1957, she played Blondie Bumstead on the TV sitcom, with Arthur Lake once again playing the role of Dagwood Bumstead. You might also remember her for her role as the nosy neighbor Lorelai Brown on the TV sitcom My Favorite Martian, which ran from 1963 to 1966. Sadly, she died at the young age of 51 from a brain tumor in Arlington Heights, Illinois, on June 17, 1974. Arthur Lake made an entire career out of playing the character of Dagwood Bumstead on radio, in movies, and even on TV. There was even a famous sandwich named after his character. The Dagwood Sandwich is still available in restaurants today. Lake is laid to rest here in the Doris family mausoleum overlooking the lake at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Lake was married to Patricia Van Cleve, and Van Cleve, according to her Find a Grave memorial page, was the daughter of actress Marion Davies. Patricia is reported to be the daughter of Marion Davies and William Randolph Hearst. And in case you're wondering why the name on the mausoleum is Doris, Marion Davies was born Marion Cecilia Doris. Lake died from a heart attack at the age of 81 in Indian Wells, California on January 9, 1987. As for the other Jetsons characters, voice actor Mel Blanc is also buried in the cemetery, and he voiced the character Cosmo S. Spacely. Daz Butler was the voice of Elroy Jetson, Gene Vanderpil was the voice of Rosie the Robot, B. Benaderet was the voice of Celeste Schuyler, and Don Messick played the family's pet dog, Astro. I recently visited all of their final resting places in my Flintstones vlog. If you haven't already seen that video, you might want to check it out. Messick is the only one who was cremated and his ashes were scattered, so he has no final resting place to visit at this time. He died following a stroke at the age of 71 in Salinas, California on October 24th, 1997. And this week, I'd like to thank my latest Patreon supporter, Miles Vose. Thanks so much for your generous support, Miles. So if you liked watching today's video, you might like watching one of these videos as well. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload future videos like this one, please subscribe and click on the bell icon. So until next time, thanks for sharing the memories, everyone.